Crafting is without doubt one of the biggest things to do in Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's a lot of fun to get your hands on some new resources, craft new Pokeballs to continue the hunt. However, this can also become a pretty tedious thing to do, especially if you've been in the endgame for a while, constantly hunting for those shiny Pokemon and have to gather all those resources every single time to get new items. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Forium and today we're going to talk about the general store. How you can upgrade this one to the maximum level so you can actually get your hands on all these items without having to craft them. This is going to be a very short guide so you guys can continue shiny hunting in no time. So let's get right to it. All right, so here we are in Jubilife Village. So basically, if you run low on Pokeballs, normally what you do is search for some new resources in the wild, return back to one of the camps, do some crafting, and then you can continue your hunt. But basically, if you have a little bit of money, you will be able to get your hands on all these items so much easier. It's going to save you a lot of time and money because, guys, basically, time is money if you just purchase them off the general store. So for the people who don't know what the general store is, it's basically a shop in town which you don't really get introduced in with the story of Legends Arceus, but this guy, Choi, pretty much sells you all the wares you need. From Ultra Balls to Cake Lures, all the things you want to get your hands on for Shiny Hunting, for example, even the Sticky Gloves and Smoke Bombs will be available right here if you upgrade this guy to the maximum level. If you talk with Choi for the very first time though, he will also give you a request called Getting a Hold of the Wares, for which you're gonna have to search three stacks of Heartley Grains, which you'll have to give to the Grumpy Grandpa in the Galaxy Hall basement. This guy, Taohua, is really into some family drama, so before he becomes happy and you unlock all the wares in the general store, you're gonna have to bring many more goods to him. Allow me to summarize everything you need for all these requests to save you some time, and I will also talk about where you can find them exactly. So first off, three stacks of Hartley Grains, for getting a hold of new wares, then three times the pop pots for more new wares, then three crunchy salt for even more new wares, and also three sand radish for new wares yet again. Okay, so now to getting your hands on every single one of these items. If you've been playing the game for a while, you're in luck because basically, if you visit Anvin, the craftsman in Jubilife Village, he will offer you three out of four items you need. The Hartley Grains, the Crunchy Salt, and also the Pop Pots. If you don't have a lot of money and can't really afford this, I definitely recommend you to check out the video in the top right of the screen. It's my ultimate guide on getting rich and earn XP super fast and efficiently in Legends Arceus. But the final item, the Sand Radish, can also be purchased inside Jubilife Village from the rare merchants. Tuli pretty much sells you Sand Radish for 800 credits each, which is a little bit pricey. Of course, if you haven't unlocked them yet or simply don't want to waste money on them, I will show you where you can find every single one of them in a second. All right, so first off, Hartley Grains. For this one, you want to travel to the Crimson Marlins, Marlins Camp. When you arrive, the first thing you want to do is just hop on Weird Deer and walk outside. And basically, this is exactly where you can find the Hartley Grains. They're hidden in the fields, but actually extremely easy to spot. So basically, what you're going to do is hop around pretty much this little pond and you'll be able to find three in no time. So we just picked up two. This is already the third one, so we are already good to go. Just stick around the fields if you want to get your hands on even more. But that was basically four Hartley Grains in just a couple seconds. For the pop pots, you want to travel to the Cobalt Coastlands Beachside Camp. Okay, so we arrived at the camp and oh great, it's raining. Anyways, what you want to do is travel towards the coast. When you've arrived, you basically just follow the coastline and focus on those little red dots. Those are pop pots and you can get your hands on them in no time. They are basically placed one after the other, so that's like four or five in just a couple seconds. I'm gonna show you another location in a second combined with the sand radish, but let's move on to the crunchy salt. For the crunchy salts, you want to travel to the Coronet Highlands. From the Summit Camp or Moonview Arena, what you want to do is hop on Braviary and just fly towards the southwest. What you're going to do next is travel to the Boulder Roll Slopes, where you can find Geodudes and Gravelers, and this is also the place where you can get your hands on all this crunchy salt. Basically, running around in these parts will allow you to get your hands on a lot of crunchy salt in a pretty short time. Also, watch out for the Alpha Golem right here, he is a pretty tough cookie. This run literally costed this only 30 seconds and we got our hands on 7 crunchy salt. Very nice. The final resource, Sand Radish, can be found on the Alabaster Icelands. What you want to do this time is quick travel to the Pearl Settlement and then hop on Braviary and fly towards the northeast. 
At the Hearts Crack, you will not only be able to find those pop pots, which are going to be extremely useful if you want to do both of them in one single run, but um, if you walk to the forest near the Graflets, you actually also have these sand radishes, which are pretty much like these blue plants. So we just packed up a couple of them and we also have the pop pots right here, at least three of them. And right next to the eye palms, we have another sand radish. So that is three of them and also three pot pots. By the way, you also have wood right here. If you want to check out my wood guide, how to get your hands on that very quickly, also make sure to check out the top right of the screen. Anyways, right now we have everything so we can travel back to Jubilee Village. Okay, so now you can easily complete all these requests one after the other. First, pick up the request at Choice General Store, then travel to the Galaxy Hall's basement and speak with Tao Hua, rinse and repeat until he doesn't give you any more requests. Right now, you simply want to travel outside of Jubilife Village and travel back to it because this will make a new cutscene pop up where you can see the family drama in its full glory. Anyways, after completing the new wares yet again, Choi will finally offer you all the wares which you're gonna need for your adventures. Alright, so there you have it. Now you can purchase all the items your heart desires. Be a little bit careful with your money though, as items like the sticky club can be pretty expensive if you have to constantly buy them. I already made a pretty efficient farm, which is in the top right of the screen, which shows you exactly how you can farm for the resources to actually craft them yourself and save a lot of money in return. Anyways, guys, a big thanks for watching. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if this video was helpful. If you're new here, also make sure to subscribe because there is a lot more coming your way. Right now, it's 4am. Have an awesome day. Till next time. Peace.